Psalm 36, 8 says, They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. God is the most generous being ever to exist. He shares his delights with us, letting us feast on his abundance and giving us drinks from the river of his delights. What are his delights? Psalm 35, 27 says, Let those who delight in my righteousness shout for joy and be glad, glad and say forevermore, Great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of his servant. God cares about how his servants are doing. He delights in them doing well in their righteousness. He delights in his children coming into the life he freely offers them, the life of righteousness in Christ. He gives us the faith to receive his righteousness and delights in our receiving his righteousness. And because we have received his righteousness, we can come into his house and be in his presence and dwell with him. It's in his presence that there is abundance, the absolute fullness of joy and pleasure from being in his presence, from abiding and dwelling with him. It's his pleasure that we can be with him, and he shares his delight with us. He rejoices over us, and we rejoice over him. It's a love feast when we abide in Christ. His steadfast love is precious to those who know it. David prays that God's steadfast love and righteousness would continue for those who know God and are upright in heart. It's an unnecessary prayer. God delights in our righteousness, and he delights in showing steadfast love. It's called steadfast love. It's unmovable. It's steadfast. God is unmoved in his love toward his own, toward those who know him and his love. Why would anyone walk away from so great a salvation that the God of the universe wants to love us and share his delights with us? What a great God we serve.